Okay, here's a quick tour of the UCR shack as of what it looks like today. Anyway, we've got uh, some tools and tape deck there on the left side. Power supplies on the floor. And this is kind of what the main operating position looks like here. And over here is the rest of it. That's more or less the test equipment and stuff, antenna tuner. So, we zoom in here a little bit. There's the solar blaster. And along the bottom is my little audio system. A little Lafayette transistorized amplifier on the bottom. Power supply on top of it on the left. The controller for the phased verticals next to that. At 11.7 is the voltage going out to the uh, phasing box. And above that is a little audio mixer that uh, I mix the audio from three different radios and I can mute or whatever, or mix them together, listen on one, you know, three different frequencies, I suppose, if I wanted to. But it's handy for uh, looking for a band opening or monitoring a frequency if you think somebody's going to show up or whatever while you're doing something else. So that's the audio system. And we've got the uh, K3. Next to the K3 is the K2. And if I pull back a little bit here. Up on the top shelf is uh, the Shack speakers, Heathkit SWR bridge, the P3 pan adapter, and my little homebrew rig, and the red box is my keyer. And on top of the P3 is the uh, KX1. Maybe I'll show you that a little later. Okay, so now if I swing things around here a little bit, that's the lens cap banging around. Okay, over here, sorry for the backlighting, but that's the brakes. Homebrew antenna tuner, little Heathkit SWR bridge. There's the Drake with the. Uh, Chinese digital dial and across the top there's a speaker and frequency counter and scope and signal generator and the, uh, the little laptop. So that's pretty much the shack. It's small. That's all I got to work with. Oh here's, uh, let me see if I can do this. Down here on the floor next to my wastebasket is where I do all my RF switching. And that little uh, box is a uh, isolator combiner. 50 ohms with good isolation up to about 30 megahertz. So that's the doublet antenna pub pumped into it. And I get equal 50 ohm outputs. One of them's going to the K2 receive antenna port right now. And the other one's going to the R4B. But it's nice for making comparisons with unknown receivers. I can use the same antenna and compare it to the K3 or the K2 and get an idea of, uh, you know, how it stacks up. So, real easy to build. And uh, only takes a couple of ferrite cores and a little bit of work. All right, so that's the Shack Tour. As of... Uh, whatchamacallit, May of 2019, my squeaky chair, here's a little KX1, that's just the coolest little thing,
talk about the ultimate portable backpack rig self-contained batteries and uh, literally fits in the palm of your hand uh, oh let's see let me show you how this works too this is the uh, audio mixer Right now we're listening on the R4B, which was on uh, East Cars. But I can turn that down. And there's the K2 on 20 meters. Not much happening right now. Okay, so there's 20, and I can put East Cars in with that, and even the K3. So there's just the K3. There's 20. And there is East Cars. And there's all three at the same time if you want to be a NASA space controller. Alright, that's the tour. 73. See y'all later. Bye.